Now we are starting fresh today. I will give that step once again. So what do you do first is before starting a volume drawing, you have to create the template. So your template is required or a drawing to be created because if the template is not available, you will not be able to create the drawing. Okay. Uh, so first thing what you do here is the folder where you want to create it, you go for right click and then select volume. So once the volume drawing uh, this thing is created, rename it as per your account. Then you just right click and say uh, edit template. Now uh, when you say edit template, it's going to ask where is the, what is the template you want to select. So you have imperial, you have metric. In imperial, you will be able to get the imperial scales, and in metric, you will get the metric scales. So it depends upon what you are, uh, what is the project you are working in, you will be provided with the scales. Since this is an integraph training model, uh, we have uh, uh, provided all of the options. So select the one which you are requiring. Suppose you want to have A1 wide, then there is one A1 wide node area. Now the difference between these two is uh, A1 wide is just a1 drawing right from start to end. Let me show you how, uh, what is the difference between these two. Now, in the A1 white, you will not have this nodes area. Okay, a separate area has been designated for nodes. And the first thing what you do is create views. Now, views are actually the, the drawing location. So in this particular drawing, I'm going to create two. Now we select the style. Now uh, a style, a uh, view style is something which is very, very uh, admin related. But I will just give you a brief overview what a what a style is because you will be able to understand. Uh, if any problem comes to you in the later stage, whether the problem is with you or with the view style, because if it, if it is a user mistake or an admin mistake, so differentiate between these two. I'll just give you a brief overview of exactly what a view style. Is. So first, I'm just going to select this and say OK, looking plan, and select the scale. I'm going to select another uh, view, small view here. Okay, now. Now, when you are crossing it, I'm going to ask what you. Yeah, when you are crossing it, it says you want to save change. Yes, because you have made some changes to the uh, drawing. You have created some views. They say yes. Okay. So once that is done, template is now available. Now just go ahead and click space management task. Okay. So now in space management task, the first thing what we are expected to do is create a volume. Now when you create a volume, it will ask which is the uh, template you are going to use. Now I am going to go by the first uh, the option, the easiest option to select. So now the moment I select it, it's going to ask, uh, select the option. Okay, so the moment I select those objects, 
a box is created such that it covers all of the objects which I select. So I can select each, any one of these two. So I'm going to select the first one which we created yesterday. And it has asked me where do we create the volume. So now I am actually by default I'm creating it here. Uh, but uh, as per procedure, it is recommended that if the drawing is created in a folder called as U01 and U02, the volume also should be placed in U01 and U02. The simple basic reason is, in case you are the person who created the drawing and you are on a vacation, and some other person is expected to update the drawing. Now, whenever he wants tries to update the drawing, he wants to change the volume as well. Now, he is trying to search for the volume. If he is not able to pick that particular volume, then he has to recreate the drawing. So, in case of these kind of situations, it is recommended that you keep the same hierarchy as the drawings folder and the uh, namespace folder. The reason why that is because you will be able to switch between 